Hey guys, this is Twisted X Lizard here from Twisted X Gaming, and today I'm doing a commentary on the USAS 12. This shotgun is actually really good. It's one of my favorite shotguns, and it's probably one of the best in the game. Even though it's the first one you get, I, it's still really good. Um, this is my last commentary for the guns. This is my last gun to do. So unless I'll, unless I do a, a gun like a top ten or a uh, dual commentary with someone, this is my last commentary till Black Ops Two comes out. I'm pretty disappointed, but oh well. I'll be I'll, I'll be doing a lot more once Black Ops Two comes out. With we'll be doing the same thing with the gun commentaries and stuff. We'll be doing that in Black Ops Two as well. Uh, the class setup for this weapon is pretty complex. I recommend this class setup for pretty much every shotgun except the AA-12. Um, so, with proficiencies, you want to start off with kick, just to give the shotgun more accuracy. Um, then you want to move on to focus once you get focus, because it it will reduce your flinch when you get hit. So it will be, that will help you stay on target with your shot with your shotgun. Once you unlock range, you, you're going to want to use that because it gives the shotgun more range, obviously. It kind of explains itself there. And damage kind of explains itself as well because it just gives the shotgun more damage since you want to have the most damage in a shotgun since it's a, not a long-range weapon. And then for perk 1 on your shotgun class, you're going to want to use sleight of hand simply because shotguns usually take forever to reload. And then you're going to want to use Assassin for your second perk, because since you're going to be running... That was a pretty bad Semtex fail. But you're going to want... Since you're going to be running around with... Because it's not long range at all, shotguns aren't. So you're just going to be running around a lot. So you're going to want to use Assassin, because if the team calls in... If the other team calls in a UAV or something, you're going to be like in the enemy spawn, and you're probably going to want to... You, you're not going to want to be seen... So it's better just to keep stay off the radar. Uh, your third perk should be sit rep because if you're running around, you're not gonna if you're not using sit rep and you're running around with a shotgun, you're not gonna see claymores, bouncing betties, portable radars, and stuff like that. So you're gonna want to use sit rep so you can avoid go running into those. All right, for the attachments. Um, you're gonna want to start off with grip because simply because it reduces the recoil and it's more more accurate if you have grip on it. You're gonna want to use grip until you unlock extended mags, which is the last thing you get. And you're gonna want to use extended mags pretty much any time you want to use your shotgun because they have really small mags and it just gives you more bullets to fire and. Because since shotguns aren't sometimes aren't the most effective, you're gonna want to have the most bullets you can. And if you use a shotgun, you're definitely gonna want to use the specialist package because you need a lot of perks if you're using shotguns. So the first specialist you want steady aim because most of the time you no scope with shotguns, so it's gonna give you precise no scoping. Uh, second specialist, you want to use scavenger, so you, cause if you're running around, you're gonna run out of ammo fast with the shotguns, so you're gonna want to replenish your ammo. And some people might be surprised by this last specialist bonus, which is a hard line because you're just gonna like instead of getting eight kills, it takes seven kills to get your specialist bonus. Which is cool, cause you can you can get hardline, then you just need one more kill for specialist bonus. Um, if you're sitting there saying why isn't he using extreme conditioning? Um, I am not using that because it's not that necessary, honestly. You only can sprint for like an extra amount of distance, and it's, it doesn't really matter, cause what is gonna what's gonna like an extra three like four five seconds of sprinting gonna do for you. I find it pointless. I think the other perks are much more useful with, with shotguns. Yeah, 
So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the class. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, my lethal is Semtex, because it's easy just to throw around the map. And Concussion, because obviously, since shotguns are, are not long-range weapons, you want to be able to, if someone's far away, you can stun them and catch up to them easily, and then just... Uh, just gun them down. Um, oh, what else? Oh yeah, my secondary is the MP9 suppressor. I really suggest the secondary for shotguns because it's a pretty, really powerful secondary, and it can reach up to far ranges. So that's why if someone's like far away from you and they notice you're there, you can just hide behind something if you have the option to and just pull that out and gun them down. So that's it for the class. Um, I mean, I'm kind of sad this is my last commentary unless I do a dual com or something, but it's going to be a while till I upload something else because the next time I, I upload something is going to be when Black Ops 2 comes out. We're gonna do. We're gonna be doing the same thing as I said before. We're gonna be doing a co uh, a commentary for each gun, telling you guys how to use it the correct way. And we're almost done with these, actually. I think we still need to do the KSG and the model. I'm pretty sure that's it. So then we'll be done unless we do the top ten gun things, whatever you want to call it, but that'll be it for the guns, so. <clears throat> yeah. I don't really know how I have a fall for this thing. I don't use I don't use this a lot. I don't use shotguns a lot, but I don't know. I just got fall randomly. If you saw my AS5O video, you would you would have um, remembered me saying I'm doing a thing where I'm trying to get every gun gold. Um, it's pretty. It's actually really fun if you, since because I'm a level 80 and I have nothing else to look forward to. I can't rank up anymore, so and I don't feel like prestiging either because I find it pointless with Black Ops 2 closing in. So, I'm just trying to get every gun gold, and if you want, you guys should try it out if you want to. It's a fun thing to do if you are just, if you just are looking for something to do. Um, I, obviously, it's, it's probably the best thing to do to just start with assault rifles. Go in order of the assault rifles, getting each gun gold, and then move on to some machine guns, go in order, and so on. Right now, I'm working on the CM901. I actually, I'm like really close to having a gold. But, that's the end of the gameplay, guys. I will see you... I won't actually see you for a while, since this is my last gun commentary. But, I hope you enjoyed my commentaries. Like and subscribe to our channel. My final KD was 38 and 19, not bad for a shotgun. So, um, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed all the commentaries that I did, so peace out.